Look at this. It's out of control. <laughs> it's like, I think I just had the baby. <laughs> she goes, no, it's gonna be <laughs> way worse than that. She's coming. All right. I'm not even kidding. What? I just had a cramp. Not a contraction, but a cramp. Make sure my water didn't break. We're good. I cannot believe we are here. We are two days away from baby's due date. I thought I was gonna have an early baby. Every woman in my family has had a baby like a month, two months early. Like I would have been born two months ago. My baby is already <laughs> twice as big as me based on an ultrasound, which could be not always correct, but still. My doctor has not brought up induction. I have not had a exam to see if I'm dilated. Like, I know that the baby's head down and has been since 32 weeks, and I think she's dropped, but like, other than that, I have no idea what's going on. What do you do when you have nothing to do but wait on a baby is make TikToks. So there's like the wipe it down challenge, and I really want to do like the wipe it, I'm pregnant, and then I wipe it down, and there's like a baby. I'm sure someone has done it before, but... What are the odds? This challenge is perfect, and I mean, baby has to come out sometime, right? I need to block that much of me, right? Wipe. Wipe. Wipe it down. Wipe. Oh wait, TikTok is gonna have to be like this. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. I'm gonna try to take some bug date photos, but honestly guys, like, I am just so out of like concepts and ideas. Like I'm just wearing, I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know the point of this photo, but I told myself I would document as much as I possibly could and post every day so I wouldn't forget any of these moments. That's what I'm doing with my time now. I just, I don't know what to do. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm trying to collect myself after, oh my God, I have acai or chocolate on my face. This is like legit my obsession during pregnancy. Acai with banana, pineapple, strawberry, honey, and chocolate chips. And I think it's all over my face. So we're just gonna live with that. But I'm trying to collect myself after what just happened um i just went to the doctor for my final appointment this was the first time that i've been checked for dilation and i don't know if she snuck in like a membrane sweep or something because <laughs> usually when people are like oh this might hurt a little bit say it's like a novocaine shot in your mouth the dentist and you're like oh that's it i barely felt it that wasn't that bad Mm. this <laughs> she was like you're not gonna like this and I go okay <laughs> bring it on I guess and they so they check with their fingers which kind of shook me a little bit and don't let me scare you by any means I am totally not good with pain I am such a baby but they go in with the fingers <laughs> and like she goes in and I swear she like all of a sudden went to a different dimension and then she was like one centimeter dilated which isn't too great I don't think and then she like did this like motion with her hands and I was like, <laughs> I, was like I think I just had the baby <laughs> she goes no it's gonna be <laughs> way worse than that so I am one centimeter dilated I am 50% effaced minus three don't know what any of that means still have to google it but it was a deeply unpleasant experience we survived it though and we have one week left to go into labor naturally. So I am passing Z due date. And if I don't go naturally, I'm going to be induced on July 8th at 8 p.m. So no matter what, I will have a baby in a week, which is mind boggling. My OBGYN was like, see you at the hospital or see you at the hospital. And I'm just gonna eat this and try to recover from what just occurred. I've just been sitting here editing, really. I look not cute right now, don't worry, you're not missing out not seeing this. Um, but update, I am getting some spotting from the dilation check, 
which I don't know if it was a membrane sweep because that, as I said, <laughs> hurt. Took me, took me off guard a little bit. I did text my doctor just in case about the spotting and she said it was totally normal. Um, I'm also getting some cramping now. Hello, happy Thursday. Yes, we did miss Wednesday. Um, I did give birth to a beautiful new zit, but I did not give birth on my due date, which was yesterday. I thought it might happen because yesterday I felt like horrible, almost kind of like stomach flu-y. And according to my mom, that might be a little bit of pre-labor, but eventually nothing happened. I woke up feeling better today. But yesterday was also the day that we officially became 40 weeks pregnant, guys. We are officially late. I cannot believe she went past her due date. It actually inspired, I wanna do a photo today. I wanted to do it yesterday, but I was so, I was so done yesterday, it didn't happen. But I wanna do like a fake little birthday party and then have Cody and I sitting there like looking really upset and then the caption's like, girl, you missed your birthday. I'm gonna do that today and the grocery store and then again, take it easy, but this is my look. This is my new favorite hair clip from Amazon. It's huge and pink, I'll link it down below. This top I bought for like postpartum, it's like an easy thing to throw over a nursing bra, but I decided to break it out early. Um, it's from Urban Outfitters, I don't know if I said that. My shorts are probably my best pregnancy investment. These are the biker shorts from Blanky, Blanky. Still don't know. And then I have slippers because Literally, no shoes fit. No shoes, no rings. My socks are getting tight. I didn't know that could even be a thing. Yeah, my socks are not fitting me. You wanna do lint roll? Fine. Are you sure? It's fine. Cause once I put my filter on and I raise shadows, you're gonna look lintier than ever. <laughs> you think we got it? Sure. But you gotta blow it out and make the wish. No. Wish for baby. No, you wish for baby. Wish for baby immediately, if not sooner. You do it. She's coming. All right. I'm not even kidding. What? I just had a cramp. Not a contraction, but a cramp. Make sure my water didn't break. We're good. Right. Magical cake isn't working that fast yet. If I make it all the way to my induction date, which is the eighth, I'll be 41 weeks that day, and I don't go in until 8 p.m. So I can take a 41 week pop transformation video. Oh my God. I don't know, she's so low. Look at her, look at how low. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. I keep saying that and I keep being pregnant. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm sure you can tell. I am feeling so tired and so swollen today. I'm not even gonna put on makeup. I'm not gonna try <laughs> to document this day, except for I guess the vlog. What I am gonna try, I was just sent this Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment, which is perfect timing, because I still have this guy who I picked out yesterday and I probably shouldn't have, but I want to eliminate him completely. That's good. It's kind of like a cooling, burning effect. I am in the nursery and I'm trying to decide if I like this better here. I used to have that and Cody's mom just gave us this. I promise after this I'm gonna like shower and fix myself up, but it's just been like so hot today and I wanna be like clean at least, clean and cute. Not glam, but you know, not this. We are going to build the lactation station because I feel like this is where I'm going to milk. In here, we just have some bibs and some burp cloths. I also have a coaster right here because I'm assuming I'm gonna be drinking water a lot when I'm breastfeeding. We have a snack drawer and then this will probably change. Right now, it's just nipple covers. <laughs> and breast storage bags. I'll probably put like a haka in here too. And then I've mentioned this before, but I'm trying out a bunch of different breast pumps because I want to find the best one. So I just got the LV. This is the double breast. And then I also have the Smart Pump 2.0. 
and it came with a little cooler and everything. This one's dope. Obviously, no review yet on the breast pump. I feel like it's gonna be like four to six weeks until I start messing around with them because I wanna build up my own supply and I don't wanna confuse my boobs thinking I have like twins or triplets, like Instagram does. <laughs> I did just get this little gift from Stork in the mail. <gasps> Look how cute. It's like a little bundle set for newborns. It comes with like a little bunny, cute. But then it has this little onesie and then these socks are so soft with a little matching hat and then you get a baby blanket, which I think is perfect for coming home. I'm so excited. And now I have more laundry to do. <laughs> I am not feeling well today. Kind of like stomach flu-y and I'm having a Braxton Hicks. I'm having a light one right now, but I feel like labor might be happening. I don't think I've mentioned this on the vlog too, but I lost my mucus plug or at least a big piece of it. I don't know how big that thing's supposed to be, but it was <laughs> jarring. Um, 